If you listen a while, I'll sing you a song of this glorious land of the free. And the difference I'll show twixt the rich and the poor in a trial by the jury, you'll see. If you've plenty of cash, you can hold up your head and walk from your own prison door. But they'll hang you up high if you've no friends or gold. Let the rich go, but hang up the poor. In trials for murder we have nowadays, the rich ones get off swift and sure. If you've thousands to pay to the jury and judge, you may bet they'll go back on the poor. I'll sing of a man who's now dead in his grave, a good man as ever was born. Jim Fisk he was called and his money he gave to the outcast, poor and forlorn. We all know he loved both women and wine, but his heart it was right, I am sure. Though he lived like a prince in his palace so fine, yet he never went back on the poor. If a man was in trouble, this helped him along. He drove the grim wolf from the door. He strove to do right, though he may have done wrong, but he never went back on the poor. Jim Fisk was the man who wore his heart on his sleeve, no matter what people might say. And he did all his deeds, both good and bad, in the broad open light of the day. With his grand six in hand on the beach at Long Branch, he cut a big dash to be sure. But Chicago's great fire showed the world that Jim Fisk, with his wealth, still remembered the poor. When the telegram came that the homeless at night were starving to death, slow but sure, his lightning express man, noble Jim Fisk, flew to feed all the hungry and poor. Now what do you think of the trial of Stokes, who murdered this friend of the poor? When such men get free, is there anyone safe to step outside their own door? If there's one law for the poor and one for the rich, it seems so, at least I say. If they hang up the poor, why surely the rich ought to swing up the very same way. Don't show any favor to a friend or to foe, the beggar or prince at your door. The big millionaire you must hang up also, but never go back on the poor.